for some more intermediate skills, a little bit more advanced than what we've done so far, we're going to start with a red cube. Go ahead and bring the red cube into your surface. And we're going to change the dimension. We're going to leave 20 wide. We're going to make it 60 long. And we're going to keep the height the same. Okay. Now, we're going to make a little house with this. And I want to add a roof to my house. When I come here and I put it there, I notice, first of all, it's not the right size. And it's also on the ground. I need the roof to go up. So, a couple things we need to do here. Let's first change the dimension. We know that this is 60, so let's change this to 60 and stretch it out. There we go. Much happier with that. But we still have to move it up. So here is the trick to moving things along the z-axis up and down. When you select your shape, you will notice right above the height, right, there is a little uh, black cone. It's like a little triangle. If you click, left click and hold, you can drag that up and down until you're satisfied. Now let's say that's way too high up, right? So I'm gonna have to drag this back down, okay? And you need to do it until you find the right spot for it. Right there, you can zoom in and you can see I have no gap there. That looks pretty good. I think I'm okay. Now, you also notice that if I come around here, well, that's not really centered. So let's move this over and let's move this over. And that's pretty close, but I don't know if it's exact, right? So here's where the next tool comes in. This is a really great tool. You're going to left click, hold and drag. So both objects are selected and you're going to go to this align tool. This is a really great tool to align things if you want things to be in the center or on the left or right side. So I'm going to click align and you're going to see all these different shapes here. Let's move this out the way just a little bit so you can see better. You can see all these little uh, circles. Okay, So I have three circles on the side here which would help me align here. So if I go to the middle one, it's going to put both shapes aligned in that way. Now this side, if I go to the middle, it'll center them both along there. Now I know this is perfectly centered on length and widthwise. If I wanted to center them widthwise, I would do that, but I don't want that. I want the roof on top, so I'm just going to click undo there. Now I have a perfect roof right on top of a house. But you know what? Roofs don't look like this. Roofs really have a, an overhang, right? They look a little bit different. So this should actually be a little bit larger. Um, so I'm going to click on the roof here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to click and drag and do the same thing again, the align tool, just to practice. I aligned it there and let's align it here as well. Now, if you look closely, you'll see I have a little bit of an, an overhang that looks a little bit better. Okay. So everybody should have something that looks kind of like this. Okay. Let's add a door. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. I'm going to add a cube. Let's change the color. Let's make the door like a brown door. And let's change the dimensions of the door, something like that. Now, I don't want it to be that tall. I want it to be a little bit shorter than the house. And let's scoot it in so it's just in, but not all the way in to the house. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, let's click and drag and select everything again. And let's align it because I want the door right in the middle. So I'm going to click that middle one. There it is, right in the center. And finally, let's add some windows. Uh, maybe let's choose a different shape here. Let's to, let's make it, oh, let's do a, a heart-shaped window. And I got my uh, heart there, but I need the heart standing up so it looks like a heart on the window, right, on the wall there. So I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. There we go. I'm going to hold Shift. While I click and drag this, and that'll maintain the proportions of the heart. There we go. That's pretty good. Now you see it's kind of underneath. Right now it's hanging underneath the work plane. If you have the, uh, the shape selected and you click the letter D, it doesn't matter where the shape is. It could be all the way up in the sky. If you click D, D is for drop and drops it back to the ground. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what size it looks like over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's change the color to like a light blue right there. And we got to move it up a little bit so it looks like right there. Okay, so there's my window. 
pretty happy with it. Let's say I want another one exactly the same. Instead of having to do all that over again, you could do a shortcut, control C, copy, control V, paste. And then you can just scoot this over to the other side. You can also scoot it using the arrows, left arrow, right arrow, until you're happy with where it's at. Other option, instead of doing control C, control V, here is the copy, control C, control V, paste. You can also just click duplicate. And there's some other functions for duplicate, but um, it ends up being right on top. So if I scoot it over, there's another one there. I'm just gonna delete that, okay? Finally, last thing, and this is where you're going you're gonna to start the next part of um, this level, um, is going to be to explore this menu. There's tons of cool stuff. There's creatures. There's different structures you can add uh, to your scene. Uh, you can click more shapes here, and you will see a lot of other things as well. Maybe if I want a tree, I can click on a tree here and bring it in. Now, that's a really big tree, so I have to shrink it down. All right, move it around to where I want it, and something like that, okay? So go ahead and explore that menu and then go on to the next step.